Hello for followers and welcome back to Mr. M Fretwell plays Minecraft for the 25th episode special. And in today's episode, Fretwell is heading to hell. And we are going to be doing a very special episode today on my first trip to the Nether. And I've got a bunch of plans relating to the Nether and getting various equipment from here to help me progress throughout my various different uh, endeavors. And hopefully next episode I'll be able to finish up a bunch of projects that relate to nether-based stuff. So, as you can see, here we are in the nether. I hope you enjoyed that very tense intro. <laughs> so, uh, before we really get started into today's episode, one thing I want to say is I'm trying some different settings with my microphone. So if I sound a little different, um, that will be why. And I am going on a bit on blind faith with this hoping that it's going to work, but if it doesn't, then I apologize very, very sincerely for that. Um, beyond that, also, um, I think that's about it, actually, um, as far as uh, things are concerned relating to that. Um, there's not a whole lot more to say. Um, so, I guess the first thing that we should really do is secure the portal before any gas spawn. Now, the first thing is... We've spawned right under this cliff. Now my concern is that this is not going to take me back to the same place in the overworld. So let's head back. No. <laughs> this is not my... Uh, this is not my cave. So, oh boy. I did not think it would do, so... Now I guess we've got to try and get out of this place. So that's always going to be the first thing I was going to check is let's see if I can actually get out of this place. Now I don't know where exactly I'm I'm going to inevitably end up so I think the best strategy here will be to dig straight up. Now I know this, I can actually, uh, what level were we on? Oh, we were pretty deep. So, now I know what's going on in relation to this, I can actually uh, find my way out, and then I can actually do the math uh, behind finding my way um, to the right portal section. My guess is it's somewhere in that cliff uh, that we spawned in. So... I think it might be uh, night time. Oh no, no, we are just underwater. Lovely. So where did we come out at? Oh boy, I don't recognise this place at all. Oh dear. Um, let me see here now. Then where was my hole at? Let's fill that in. So where are we? Um, we're not too far from zero zero, so I guess. Uh, ah, ah, okay. So we spawned right there. Well, all right. Uh, I need to get the portal fixed up and also get rid of that other portal to stop me conflicting, because I can guarantee that that other portal will send me back uh, to that one underground. So we need to find where our actual portal is and then sort the uh, mess with the other portals out. So, I guess the first thing to do is get the coordinates of the nether portal. Actually, no, the overworld portal, isn't it? Why do I keep glitching into blocks? I don't know why that is. Uh, it seems like I'm getting just a little bit of lag. What the? Yeah, I'm getting lag. Why am I getting lag? I can't open that. Strange. Let me in. Works fine now. I don't know what that was all about. There we go. Back to... Wait, I don't need to be down here. I need to be up there. Hopefully that tick will just disappear. Um, I haven't changed anything as regards recording. Oh, there it was again. 
Not sure what that was all about. Um, so now we need to get the coordinates of this guy, um, and then we need to divide them, the X and Z that is, by uh, 8. So we're looking at 207 on the Z. Let me just whip out a calculator here. <laughs> so we want 207 divided by 8. Whoops, that's 207 divided by 8 gives us 25 and on the X it's going to be 20, minus 20. So we need 25 and we want minus 20. We want minus 20 divided by 8 minus two and a half. So we want 25 and two is what we really need when we go back here into the nether. So we need to find out where 25 and two is. So here's 25. That's 26 actually. We need to dig to two. There's one, so we need to be right here, basically. Because it will never carve a portal out into netherrack. It will never do that. It will always find a free space. And it just so happens that we uh, ended up inside a cliff on this particular world. So now, I don't have my diamond pick on me. Plus, I want to disable the portal on the other side anyway. So, we're going to go back to that place underground, I presume. Yeah, we're going to go back here again. Now, how do you disable this thing? Is it, do you have to break the obsidian? Is that the only way you can do it? You can actually just break the portal block in survival. I mean, in creative, sorry. Um, oh boy. So I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to break that, and I don't have a diamond pick on me. And that's going to take way too long to mine. So I'll have to come back and do that, unfortunately. I was hoping that I could just break the portal block. Clearly not. Um, I need to do it the uh, old-fashioned way. Back up we go. Ah, uh, this is going to be the long way back up. At least I know what I'm coming up against. Oh boy, it's getting to be night time now. Not my favourite time of day. Not to be out here anyway at night time, it's a dangerous place with all the uh, improved monsters now. It can be lethal out here at night, so I want to get back into my base as quick as possible. And hopefully the gate doesn't act up again like it did last time. Well, we can spare it to kill him. Yeah. I'm looking for ender pearls actively because I do need them. Oh, come on, this is not fair. I hope that damn gate opens. No, it doesn't. Surprise, surprise. The gate does not work. We do have a bed over here, though, so we can jump in this. I can't even sleep in a bed. Man, there's something wrong with my game. Let me uh, try and fix this. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so sorry about that. I've restarted Minecraft, and it seems to have solved the problem. Um, but I cannot be sure entirely yet. We'll just have to hope for the best, I guess. Not been a very good special so far. Lots of problems, but hopefully we can uh, fix them fairly soon. So I brought my Silk Touch pickaxe, because all my other diamond pickaxes are broken, apart from uh, the unenchanted one, which is going to take far too long. So back into the nether we go, and I'm actually going to take down this particular portal right now. because we're going to reuse the obsidian for it um, from it should we say in that new position and then we can actually get started in today's proper episode 
Now my only concern is that that other portal is still going to be a problem and if it is I, will, I know roughly where it is so I can track that down and we can get rid of that but hopefully it won't be. And this is why I didn't want to use one of my diamond pickaxes because it's just going to shred netherrack and that's a big problem for me with this. So let's get every single bit of obsidian here and let's get back inside our little cubby that we've got going on right here and at least, well that was kind of pointless making all the stone bricks wasn't it now? End of that pick. Now they need to be three high, I actually carved the ideal portal size out so now if I light this, we should end up back in the portal shrine. That is where we should end up. Yes. Here we are, back in the portal shrine. So now if I go back into the nether. Oops. We are going to have this problem right here though. We're going to suffocate a little bit. So let's open this out. That'll do the trick. There we go, let's carve the rest of this out. Okay, so at this point, that's that done. I will have to go and disable that other portal later so that it's no longer in the circuit causing the problem. But I'll do that off camera, I won't do it now. Um, so, that's the first objective done, seal the portal. That's safe. To a degree, I'm going to work on it a bit because we do need a few things around here. Thought I heard you. Okay, so at this point I now need to gather myself... Well, I need to actually get my uh, stuff down, don't I? So why don't we get this carved out. Let's make a little base in here. So yeah, I'm not sure what was causing that frame rate tick, to be absolutely honest. Um, and the problems with the gate, I'm not entirely sure what that was at all. I don't know whether it's a, a known bug with the game or, or whatever, but I've certainly never seen that happen to me before. So why don't we get our floor in, I guess. A nice stone brick floor. And just in time, because the gas is starting to spawn. Now I did not bring any wood with me so I cannot make a door, in fact I might want to make an iron door, to be honest. So in today's episode let me outline you on what I actually want to do. So I want to basically find everything I need in today's episode. Uh, getting started in the nether I'm going to track down some quartz, glowstone, uh, lots of glowstone, not so much quartz but I need a fair amount of the stuff. And then I also want to get to a fortress. I want to get myself some blaze rods uh, so that we can brew. I would like to find myself a blaze spawner um, that's preferably sort of inside. Now I want to be very careful with this fellow around. Oh, he's gone through my portal now and uh, see if I can get a couple of other brewing ingredients while I'm here, maybe magma cream, gas tears, those sorts of things. What bow did I bring? I brought my power three bow, so that's a good bow. I just kind of just want to spend a couple of minutes uh, fixing up this portal room here and getting my equipment down, that kind of thing. Probably go back for an iron door. Try and keep everything in here relatively sealed. And I also need to go and drop the diamond pick off again anyway, so we'll probably, we can probably make that change at the same time. So now I really need to... I can actually uh, get through the portal and cut through the other side. That would be great. Because I just want to put a stone brick backing onto this. I want to try and
There we go. Okay, so now I've got this secure. Get my crafting table down. My furnaces. Did not bring any chests with me, so I may go back for some. And make a little area for some chests. Thinking maybe right here. I don't need many chests, I just need a little bit of room to store the bits and pieces that I, I get. Typically netherrack and stuff like that. So yeah, um, my goal is to make this maybe a one hour special. But that may not be the case, it may not end up like that. But I, I hope that it does because this is a significant episode. Number 25, going to the nether, all that sort of stuff combined together makes this quite a cool episode so there we go we've got that in place so now I'm gonna head back to the overworld and I'm gonna probably drop a few things off here's our pig man so at this point I really need to drop off my silk touch pick um, bring some wood with me I need to get some of that if I don't already have any um, pff, what am I saying? I have tons of wood. I have the uh, tree farm, so I don't need to worry about that really. Uh, just need that for some wooden buttons so that I can uh, get in and out the door easily. So diamond pick away. I need six iron for the iron door. And you know what? I'm probably going to need to make a couple more picks while I'm there, so I'm just going to bring the rest of that stuff. And uh, let me head over to the tree farm here. Really need to harvest it again. There we go. That's going to be pretty much everything I'm going to need. I won't need a whole lot more than that, so... Back upstairs we go. So yeah, I need to get all of those different things today. Uh, secure a fortress. I've always already secured a portal. What the? Enderman must have stole that. And... While I don't have much obsidian left, I would like to get some Eyes of Ender going. Uh, I do know that the Priest Villager over in the uh, Sandstone Village um, in the desert actually trades Eyes of Ender for emeralds. So that's going to be really handy to have some of that. And I need Glowstone to finish my furnace room. I need Nether Quartz to do a project that I have in mind with the jukebox. So there's tons of different things that I need various different materials and bits and pieces for. Wait, I don't want to be on the wrong side of that. Uh, we want two buttons. Where's the gas to use at? I think there's one out there somewhere. Now let's place this with a uh, button. So we can get back in again and one on the outside so I can get out again and the ceiling I'm going to leave netherrack uh, might look a little pretty and I can also uh, set up my chests now as well I need eight wood converting for that I believe that will give me 32 which should even out as four chests perfect and I'm going to drop my netherrack off in this Stone bricks off in here uh, with iron, the flint, ladders I'm going to keep on me, dirt, I can go in there, obsidian. Uh, we're going to drop some arrows off, the remaining wood, keep the cobble on me. Actually, we might want some of those to make markers. And I think I'm pretty good to go, so I've got weapons, I've got my bow got some food, torches, armor's good, so I guess let's head on and explore. So the first objective I guess which would be within easy reach is nether quartz. So let's grab some of that. There we are. I want a, a fair bit, but I don't need tons of the stuff at this point. 
I just need a bit to make a few comparators and, and stuff like that. Those gas sound really close. Look at that, I have enough experience to repair my worker pick, so we may go back and do that as well. Eighteen quarts, I think that will be enough. Because comparators only take three right, so that's not going to be too much of a problem. So, back we go in here. And I'm going to put my nether rack away. I'm going to keep the quartz in here. But I'm going to head back once again to repair my worker pick before I lose that XP. Because I can guarantee I will. Somehow I will lose that XP. And I don't really want that to happen. So let's do it now and we can actually lose the XP to doing something productive. Here we go, back up the stairs. Then we need to go back down this flight of stairs. In hindsight, I probably should have designed this a little better and kind of built the portal more where I'm using things um, than I am up there because I don't actually have much up there. Slimey down there. So, worker and diamond pickaxe. 32. So we've done that change and let's put him back away again. Uh, do I need anything else while I'm here? I don't think I do. Um, I might want to bring a bit more cobble with me because I would prefer to use cobble over stone bricks when making markers because stone bricks are kind of expensive. So if I can save on a few then that would be pretty handy. So let's just bring a bit of cobble with us and let's head back with another objective struck off the list. I guess the next one will be to get some glowstone. It's either glowstone or soul sand that's uh, next on the list, depending on which I see first. And then I need to track down another fortress, another wall, blaze rods. And then I need to secure the path to the fortress, probably through the ceiling um, as well. So now I can use cobblestone for markers that point back towards where my portal room is so I guess we should put the first one there now I see some soul sand around here I am also seeing some glowstone within relatively easy access so let's get soul sand I must admit this is going a lot faster than I thought it might take. I don't know, let's take a stack of soul sand back with us. There we are. 64 soul sand, perfect. And now we need glowstone. And I've seen some easy access glowstone around, so that's good as well. There we are, let's put our soul sand in the nether chest. And now let's go after the glowstone. Oh, look at that, there was some easy to access soul sand there. Never mind. I could have brought my fortune pick. That might have made collecting this stuff a bit easier but well not easier more worthwhile would be a better way of putting it so I'm above lava lovely standing on netherrack ain't gonna happen I'm sorry so concerned about gas shooting me off here I haven't got ender pearls I'm not getting any of this, am I? Oh, 
Wow, we'll, cut. we'll run across more glowstone, no doubt. <laughs> oh goodness me, that was that was nerve wracking that was being on that platform. The gas just spawns in like that. That is That is terrible when that happens. What am I even doing here? I'm just kind of making tunnels and pathways everywhere. Oh I think I probably would have made it alright because he hit there. I'm just gonna take this cobble back because it looks odd. I don't like it much. So, uh, how much glowstone did I get? A perfect stack. So that gives me 16. That's not even enough, I don't think, to finish my furnace room. But it's enough to get me started on my project, so... I guess now, I'm going to drop that off, obviously, and then head off in search of a nether fortress. Now, I've not seen any, so we may... Just go to the left, um, and see what's over there. And uh, now, if you're facing this direction, the right, we may find a uh, fortress in this place. One thing I do know is we've spawned quite low, so that's going to be uh, probably not very useful to me, I have to say. I'm going to put another mini beacon right there. Now this is the place, if any, that a fortress would spawn in. Now I'm going to kind of head around the edge here and see what I can see. It's very hard to see far in the nether. Don't see much over there. Um, come over to this side. I'm not seeing a whole lot. I think I would prefer to get up higher if I can. That might be something uh, to do is get up higher. This is going to be the hardest bit, finding it. And once I've found it, I'm going to build a path uh, in the ceiling of the nether straight to it so that I don't have to find it again because I have a real bad problem with getting lost in the nether. It seems to just constantly plague me. And I guess the, the easiest thing for me to do would be head to zero zero. Where even is zero zero? from here. Somewhere right there maybe? Yeah, zero zero will be basically right there, so I'm I'm okay in this particular map if I head back to zero zero then I will actually find what I'm looking for. Which is uh, perfectly fine by me. Fairly easy. If I happen to get lost again. Can I see anything up there? Maybe worth trying to get up higher and uh, seeing what's up. Uh, obviously a bit higher than where we have just been. So here is definitely higher and I can cut my way through this nether rack right here. I did not bring any wood with me so we're going to be down to my last iron pickaxe after, after this one. Now, one thing I do want to do is make sure that I can... Yeah, I can see my other beacon, so... Put one right there, just to indicate that there is a tunnel here. And one on the other side, of course, to indicate that the other side of the tunnel is right there. So now we have this bit down here, and we also have a bit here that we can go through. So, I guess the best thing to do would be to head maybe down there and see where that takes us. There we are. Let's 
just going to carve a little pathway down. And I'm going to put my little beacon right next to the staircase that we've just made. Oh goodness, I thought I, did, I thought I did something then, which is just that the pigman fell. So, what's along here then? Not much, it seems. Might be able to swoop up along that way and see what's cooking. Put my beacon up, and I'm gonna swoop along this left direction here. Do want to have a, a beacon round the corner. And I'm not seeing a whole lot. I would like to get up higher again if I can. Let's see if I can get up to the top of this thing. A little alleyway. Ooh, that gas sounds very close. Now what I've got to be careful about here is hitting a pig when I get to the top. And that gas is actually up here as well. Now this is a lot taller than I thought it was. Hope I'm gonna have enough ladders. Oh good, we've come out where a pig can't be, I think. I see you right there. There we are. Okay, so now we're up here. I want a beacon, obviously. And uh, let's go to where the ghast was. I want to be away from that big man. There's a lot of pigmen here. It's kind of creeping me out. Ah, I see a fortress off there. I see it. I see it. I see it. It's right there. Now, how do we get over there to it? I think I've got to dig my way around, unfortunately. But what can you do about that? So now I want to clearly mark my way, although it's not too hard to, to really see what we're doing here. Just follow the cliff and you should be fine. So let's go through this particular wall. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to have to be very careful because if I run out of pick, could be disastrous. I will have to go all the way back. And I have a lot of netherrack. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, what I'm looking for from the fortress obviously is the blazers and the nether wart. Don't really need wither skeletons honestly at this point in time. I did bring the smite sword to kind of keep them off me, not to collect their skulls. Uh, we will go after the wither at a later date. I'm not ready. I don't even have diamond gear or, or brewing yet, so... Fighting the wither's not really what I want to be doing. We've travelled a long way. Let's see if I can get outside. Oop. Well, we're not there yet, it seems. We've come out spontaneously on a cliff. So, I imagine that if I kept digging off in this direction... Oh, right here. We want a beacon right there. Now, if I keep heading here... Yeah, I'm going to be right above it now, which is what I want. So my next beacon needs to really be here so that I can come around here and say, oh, there's my other one. He 
Yeah, here we go. Here it is. I see skeletons on it and blazers. I guess now the next beacon should go right up here. How far have we traveled to get here? Jeez, 400 blocks. Normally I find them pretty closer than that. Now my issue with this fortress is probably that it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be basically entirely exposed. Now this is a 1.6 fortress, so we will get chests in it and potential diamonds in it, which is fantastic news. Yeah, I can see my other beacon from up there. Now I didn't bring any gravity based blocks. This entire fortress is exposed. Uh, that is not really what I wanted, but it'll do, I guess. I mean, I can always look for other ones. So I didn't bring any gravity based blocks, but I could build a ladder down. I th think I could survive it. Yeah, I could survive that drop. Why did I build this out of netherrack? Well, actually, well, it'll be fine for be fine for now. That's just going to have to make sure that there's no ghasts around the area when we come to try and get out. I guess I could pillar up though. If it was a real emergency, I could successfully pillar. Two hits for that guy. So I kind of want to leave a trail of torches for myself and I'm going to get this out. Uh, pig is really disturbing me. Oh man, I hear these skellies everywhere. I also see... Magma cube, I thought I might have. Oh, a chest. Oh, diamonds. Golden horse armor. Excellent. So let's keep exploring. Ah, uh, this spontaneously ends here. Okay, cool. So let's uh, keep going. Still need nether wart. Would like more blaze rods. That doesn't really go anywhere. Neither does this. I came from here. They're all down there, aren't they? Gonna sneak on by. Gold, nether wart. Excellent. Saddle. We'll be able to get ourselves a horse soon. That's gonna be something that I'm gonna look into doing very soon actually. Uh, I wanna play with the new features, but we're in 1.5 terrain. Oh man, I love having a good bow. Can fight these things so easily. You're a regular skeleton, I'm not bothered about you. And we found ourselves another walk garden too. Nobody's going to be coming from that way, I don't think. Though I think wither skeletons are fire resistant, right? So I guess they could go through. I think all nether mobs are fire resistant, actually. Except for the skeletons, of course, because they spawn in the overworld. So technically they aren't um, immune. Oh, hello. This is going way better than what happened to me in Hunt for the Ender Dragon. Jeez, I had a right trouble on trying to survive that. But I guess I'm much better geared than I was in, in that series. Oops. There we are. 
Oh, there's a big magma dude. Why am I using my arrows on these things? I guess I could use my sword on them. I think I can actually just punch these guys. Mm, maybe not. Any magma cream? No. That's just, that's okay. I'm not really looking for magma cream. It's just kind of a help if I do get some. Some blazers there. Oh no, no, oh. oh, come on, I had all the nice gear. Oh man. Oh. Walked into fire whilst fighting Magma Cube. Oh. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. No. Well, I didn't lose any. Well, I lost the Nether Warp. That was the most important thing I lost. I lost some cobble, a bunch of netherrack. Um, did I, oh, I think I put my good pick away, didn't I? I put that away. Um, what are you doing down here? You in my base. I can't fight you right now. Oh, I lost my smite sword. No! <laughs> oh, that, that was the most valuable thing on me. Um, oh, that was, oh, that's so unfortunate that I lost that. Oh, no. Um, yeah, I still have the worker pick. Well, it's not the end of the world, I have to be honest. Uh, it makes what I was doing a lot harder now, because I have, no, nope. um, I lost some beaten up iron armor. That was the most valuable thing on me. I had that power three bow, but that is... That is not really um, the end of the world if I lost that. I have a power one, one here. That, I would have been more upset if I'd have lost that. Um, mm. So, we still need to get our nether warp. We still need to get our... Um, I, I've got soul sand. I got that. Soul sand, glowstone. I just need... Actually, I'm going to... Take some of that with me. Uh, I just need now some nether wart again, which is kind of unfortunate that I lost that. Um, I hope that that was not all the nether wart in that fort. Take a bunch of wood with me. And food. Food, food, food. Oh, I lost a lot of food. That was That's a bit of a bummer as well, isn't it? I lost a lot of food. Ah, oh, I hate dying. <laughs> I hate dying. I don't think a magma cube killed me. I think I walked off the edge while trying to shoot the blaze. Well, better get used to that. That's going to happen a lot. Let's just take some steak. That'll do for now. Um, the blaze rods are easily replaceable. The armor was replaceable. The iron tools I had on me were replaceable. The smite sword, not so much. I uh, have to be honest there. But I would have been more annoyed if I'd have lost maybe like a sharp sword or something like that or a really good pick or something like that. The power three bow, not the end of the world. So we've lost that. I did leave some arrows behind. Um, before we go any f further... Hopefully it'll go away. Now, what I don't want to happen is what a lot of people do when they die, and that is they, what I call chain die, they just die over and over and over again in rapid succession. We just need to now properly prepare for what we need to face. Oh, I lost all my torches as well. Dang it. Well, that's not the end of the world. They're replaceable. I have infinite wood, so it's, it's not the end of the world to lose those. So let's just get some basic equipment going. I need a couple of iron picks. I need to dig less now, certainly. I uh, need a couple of iron swords. I will need a shovel. 
And there are chests in the fort, so I can make an axe as well. I have my pathway to the fort lit, so it's not the end of the world. Um, and I think that that's going to be everything I need. I just needed a basic iron tool set, and I think we're good to go. I'm going to bring those with me. Let's head on back. So I uh, went this way, right? Well, I can't one-shot gas anymore, which is a real pain to not be able to one-shot them any longer. There's no point me running back. My stuff won't be there. Ugh. I'm going to be careful now. That is what always kills me, though. Fall damage. Fall damage, falling off something, falling into lava. That is always what kills me. It's never the mobs in this game. That they Occasionally, they might get lucky and kill me. But normally, it's something along the lines of uh, falling. It's, my, it's usually my own fault. <laughs> is the best way to put it. Where's that gosh? from? Did lose a gas tier. Got it back though. Actually, I don't even think I picked it up. <laughs> so I, d I lost that through my own fault as well. Uh, did I? Yeah, I dug a pathway down here, didn't I? I mean, the nether rack is was the uh, thing I had the most of. These gas. These gas are out in the storm today. There we go. Okay, so... Back through here. I'm glad I wasn't wearing any diamond armor as well. Diamond armor would have been a big blow. Um, a diamond pick. As I say, I think the most valuable thing on me was the sword, really. The sword and the uh, and the bow. Everything else is kind of was replaceable. It, it was not the end of the world to lose it. Um... Mm. But even the bow, I can just stand by my zombie grinder and replace that. I don't like parting ways with diamonds as much as I like parting ways with uh, string and sticks. So did, I came along the edge, didn't I? If I find two more diamonds in the fortress, then I probably would be okay to part with them and make another diamond sword. But uh, I will be eventually doing some branch mining, so it's not the end of the world. In, in all honesty, it's going to happen. So I guess we should just focus back on the task in hand, and that's to get some more nether wart, and to get some more um, blaze rods. So blazers are pretty easy to take on from afar. It's just that they're probably going to be a three shot now instead of a two shot, which is disappointing. But again, it's just going to mean that I'm going to have to be a bit more cautious, and I'm also going to have to watch very carefully for the withers that are around here and try not to get set on fire <laughs> keep walking through fire, I hate doing that getting set on fire, it's so annoying so where did I go down from here, did I, oh yeah I went over here didn't I uh. wait a minute, I, yeah I thought I had a ladder here so I've explored most of this place. Yeah, I've I've explored all of this part. It was over here, wasn't it that Oh, two shot that guy. Still this chest right here that we never got. It's got one diamond in it. Oh, I lost the saddle, didn't I? Um, well, saddles are plenty common enough if I uh, find a dungeon. I think I actually have a ton of them back at uh, my actual base in the overworld through uh, looting other various different things. Another chest. Gold, flint and steel, gold armor, another chest. 
Man, that diamond horse armor, still a saddle. Jeez, I'm glad I didn't take all of this. Oh, there we go. That, that doesn't make losing two diamonds worth it, but it certainly makes me feel a lot better about the situation in hand. <laughs> um, oh, wow. Now, before I do anything stupid, like wander off or hit a pig man, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to head back. Now then, where was the way back? It was up here, right? Did I, I even got a blaze rod as well, so I can start brewing. Brilliant. <laughs> all I need now is nether wart. Actually, I won't go all the way back. What I'll do is I'll just put a little chest uh, hidden away in my little corridor. Get out of the way, pig man. The land of the Zistos. The silly pig man. <laughs> Um, does that fortress extend all the way out over there? Wow. So I'm just gonna go down here. I'm gonna put one of the chests that I've picked up um, down here in my little tunnel, where it's gonna be safe. I don't know, maybe, maybe here. It's quite safe. And just put my uh, nice things in here. So those I've got one of each type of horse armor, saddles. Nether warts. Uh, actually, I have nether wart. I really don't need anything else. Plenty of flints and steels. Um, all I would like now then is more blaze rods. In all honesty, and gas tears and those kind of things. They're the kind of just the things that I really want now. I always. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going anymore. Losing my mind here. Uh, it's been a fairly eventful uh, time though, hasn't it, really? Look at it, it's just crawl. Whoa, did you see them spawn in? Jeez. I saw those spawn in, that was insane. Why is that guy doing? Yeah. <laughs> Disco with a skeleton. Party's over for you. <laughs> oh, that that was actually pretty good. What are you doing here? Now, now you want to have a go, do? <laughs> oh dear, dear oh dear oh dear. Despite losing two diamonds, I've had a good time today. So I won't I won't complain at that. I've had a good time. We've had uh, moon dancing with the skellies, we've had diamonds, quite a lot of diamonds actually. These will be good places I think to loot, you know, for diamonds if you're struggling to find them underground. Oh come on, you're bouncing off those arrows. Ten of those left. I've oh, got eleven now. I don't want to fall off again. Jeesh. Uh, now we need to get down there, don't I? Okay, so let's get back inside here. Here we are. And I guess now I have... I would have liked some more blaze rods. Um, well, I think that that's going to be everything. I don't know if I might see any more chests. Will they not actually jump down there? 
There we go. Must be a gap. Yeah, there's a gap. They know that they can't jump down that. Fair enough. Fine by me. Couple of guys just chilling over here. Maybe I can get one or two of them. Ah, I'm out of arrows. Ah, darn it. Well, I guess we won't get too greedy. Uh, I do have some slime balls so I can make some fire resistance potions and come back here at really any time. The only things I really need some more of are glowstone. And I can grow nether warp, glowstone and blaze rods. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Not going to lie. Uh, did lose a lot of nether right though. That's... A lot of nether bricks are gone for me, and a lot of XP, but never mind, that's all regainable. So, I think that we're just going to head back to base now, I'm going to pick up my stuff, and we'll see what we can do from there. He's gone up pretty darn high, he keeps going up. He's going to hit uh, a ceiling though fairly soon. I see some glowstone there. Oh boy, look at that. Easy to access glowstone. Let's grab a bit more while we're here, why not? So this is the nether secure to a degree. I've still got to build the path um, to the fort, but I'm not going to build the path just yet. I want to build it when I have a blaze spawner um, in lockdown, and when we've built a blaze um, spawner trap uh, at the blaze farm, we're going to build one of those. Then I'll just have a path that links directly up to that, and I'll run minecarts through so that we can just take a path from our portal straight to the fortress and then at that point um, we will have adequate resources to uh, be able to get A unlimited XP and B it's, that means that I'm going to have enough equipment at that point that's enchanted to be able to dig the path as well it would take forever with just iron picks so Overall, not a bad haul. I wish I could have kept those other two diamonds and come away with six, but four's pretty good. Considering that in 1.5 and before, you couldn't even get diamonds going into the nether. To walk away with four, um, to lose two, well, in fact, we lost four, didn't we, really? We lost the two diamonds I had and the diamond sword. We ended up ultimately losing four diamonds. We've gained four, so we've kind of, we've not made a profit either way, uh, is, is the best way I can put it. We've not made a profit either way, so... Where is my path down? Did I did I dig that? Must have. So, that's not the end of the world. We've kind of done the same thing. I will be probably... I won't be necessarily happier, but I think we'll have made an improvement if we ultimately end up getting a better enchant uh, as, as a result of that. I must have left a ladder here somewhere, surely. Yeah, it's right here. So overall, I would say that that's been a good haul. Uh, we've got some nice gear here that I can take back with me. And obviously the next project, as it were, would be to, uh, in the nether at least, build the blaze farm. It's kind of what we're really looking for. So I guess the next episode is going to be all about me finishing up my various different things. Uh, that require nether based material so the furnace room is going to get finished at last I'm going to... I won't be able to craft any ender chests uh, unless I come back here off camera or we do some more blaze hunting next episode I'm not going to be able to uh, make any ender chests though I don't know what use an ender chest would have for me at this point because it's either going to be here or in the nether isn't it and oh, it's fairly easy to cart that stuff it's not like I've got long distances to travel yet that will happen soon enough. When I build the path um, to the blaze farm, what I'm going to do is that halfway I'm going to intersect and I'm going to put a, another pathway in and that's going to be the pathways to uh, the 1.7 heaven I guess you could call it when 1.7 gets released and also to the 1.8 portal. Look at that! <laughs> oh dear, these guys can occasionally spawn now apparently, these baby pigmen. I wish I'd give them an XP or a unique drop or something. 
Now where am I going to be going from here? I see that this is right here, but... Oh, yeah, okay. I see. That's fine. Let's just steadily head our way back now. I think the portal, yeah, is just right here, so it's maybe a two-minute walk um, using this method, but other than that, it's not too bad. Okay, so let's do another rack here. Let's see what my haul was in the end. Um, 31 glowstone plus 2 glowstone dust, plenty of flint and steels. I don't want um, those with me at this point, I don't want that nether rack. I guess they can stay, the obsidian, the spare flint. I would like my wood back and that wood as well. And those sticks and this dirt and the iron I guess. In fact, no, let's leave that here as supplies. We'll leave those there as supplies in case we need them. Want those, those, and that. And that is everything. At long, long last. There we are. So, after this episode, there is going to be a brand new map render available. Um, you will be able to check out what I've explored in the nether. Um, although the nether render is a bit... Mm, uh, is it darker all of a sudden? It seems darker in, in here than it used to be. Sounds like it's night time outside. There we are. Martin Fretters 1 walked into fire whilst fighting a magma cube. Fell into lava actually. Oh yeah. I have a ton of saddles. I mean, how many people are up there? Hmm. Interesting. Let's put the cobble away. Dirt. And... What would I class horse armor as, I guess? Uh, special drop. Those. Um, I'm gonna need to take all this stuff downstairs, aren't I? So, let's, let's quickly, before we end the episode, I'll build a nether warp farm. Let's do that. We fight this guy. Any creepers around? I think we're clear. Look at that guy. He's got a pathfind to me. I just know he is. That's just what they do. They pathfind. If I was to wander, even all the way across there beyond the village, she would know where I am. They always do. They know where you are. Um, I've seen them pathfinding several thousands of blocks towards you. If they know where you are, once they've locked onto you, they can travel thousands of blocks to try and reach you. Um, and this has caused a big problem on servers. It makes them lag because uh, there's so many zombies after one target and they travel thousands of blocks and while something's moving in those chunks, the chunks are loaded. So there's way more chunks loaded now in 1.6 than there ever was in 1.5. So that is a big problem that I think that needs to be looked into. Uh, I also, upon relog after my uh, disastrous event um, with the dodgy gate, uh, I seen that some of these guys suffocated. So no, the bug is not fixed. Apparently, certainly better than what it was, but no, the bug isn't entirely fixed, unfortunately. Which, well. It's not the end of the world, I guess. It's just going to mean that I have to be a bit more on top of what I'm doing now than I thought I might have to be. So, okay, let's build this nether warp farm then. We want... Oh, I guess we should just stick it here for the time being. It's going to move underground eventually anyway. What do we got here? Make a 4x4 tile. Excellent. So, what can I actually make? Uh, I can make speed. I can make strength, but I would prefer fire resistance. Uh, let's get my nether wart in here. And I'm going to let it grow first. So I can make speed potions. I have sugar cane. I can make instant health because I have a ton of melon pieces. Uh, although it's got quite m a lot more expensive now in terms of gold to make those. Um, what else is there? There is... 
speed, strength, fire resistance I can make, uh, regeneration, I have a gas tier here. Um, when I consider soul sand, I don't really know. I guess it's nether based materials, isn't it? So, mm. yeah, I don't know. Do I have any gravel on me? No, I have some mob drops, which, uh, <laughs> um, I do want to make a blaze, um, a brewing stand actually, is what I meant to say there. Wood. Where is my cobble? It's right here. Let's just get three of those, and let's actually make a brewing stand. I can only make, I can make six fire resistance potions because I can convert that into blaze powder. So let's get that there. Oops. Random golden sword as well. So we've got blaze powder. Uh, I don't really have a brewing chest. I may make this my brewing chest as it's right next to the brewing stand. So we've got blaze powder. Uh, soul sand in there. Gunpowder, I guess, belongs with brewing, doesn't it, really? Gunpowder. I'm going to take the quartz downstairs. Anything in there? No. Anything in here? Nope. We need glowstone dust. I guess I'll put in there the gas tier needs to go in there. Another piece of golden armor. Hmm. Think that that is pretty much everything. Um, yes. So let's head downstairs, and I need to drop a few things off down here as well. Most notably, the nether quartz. I have a chest for this in the uh, furnace room. Oh no, I don't. Problem solved. <laughs> I have chest with me from the fortress. So there we go. Nether quartz belongs in there. I'll put the picture frame up later. Diamonds, back up to 50 diamonds again. I think that's more than I've ever had. Um, plenty of picks and stuff. Um, I'm waiting to repair that. If I get a, an Unbreaking 3 pickaxe, I will repair it with that to make a Efficiency 4 and Unbreaking 3 again. Uh, I just have another one. Golden Sword, I guess. Doesn't really belong in gold, does it? That kind of belongs in weapons. I'll put that upstairs. Dirt is upstairs. Rotten Meat is Mob Drops, which are, I believe, upstairs. Bones are going to be in um, the farming chest. Flints and steels, I guess, are kind of a specialist item, so they're going to stay up there, and I'm going to put the remaining glowstone up there as well. So, yeah, I think that's going to be just about it, guys. Um, I'm just going to drop these things off, and we'll call it an episode. I hope that you've enjoyed that today's nether special. Um, got quite a bunch of things done. Um, got everything that I kind of intended to do done. So that's good news overall. So let me see. Weapons, where do weapons go? Not there. There. Weapons. I'm going to put the flint in with these. Um, it's just easier that way. So many chests, I really need to build a storage room. Zombie flesh. I thought, oh no, zombie flesh belongs at my grinder, doesn't it? That's right. I'll take that down there later. Um, hmm. Put you there, maybe? No. No, 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 no. We don't want that. Um, I don't really have a place for these chests. Yes, right there. In case I decide I need any more, I'm going to get some more bones for my lovely farm. And that's going to be just about it. If you wonder what that rumbling is, that will be a plane that is passed overhead. So, yeah. That's pretty much it, I think. Another what's growing nicely, which is excellent. I'll brew some potions off camera and we'll probably... Uh, we might next episode do a bunch of repairs and finish off a bunch of things. And then we may take on the nether fortress again and, and have a bit of a siege on it with some potions next time around. I'll probably have some newly enchanted gear. Probably most notably a brand new diamond sword with a level 30 enchantment on it, which is what I'm really looking forward to having again. Uh, probably a level 30 bow, um, iron pickaxe and shovel, probably. I'll just bring an iron axe and iron shovel. I may bring a better pickaxe now that I'm secure, though I would be really risking it bringing a pickaxe. So we may just bring an iron one, um, and that'll be fine, I think. So, yeah, that's going to be just about it, guys. Um, I hope to see you next time. So I hope you've enjoyed today's special. Got a lot done, lots to look forward to now. 
and I hope to see you in the next episode. So until then, see you later, and have a good day.